SCAD Savannah Film Fest is underway, and one feature documentary film making its way to the big screen had a chance to touch some lives in the hostess city in a major way. Medicine Man, the Stan Brock story, follows late British actor Stan Brock around the United States with his nonprofit Remote Area Medical. RAM operates pop-up clinics that deliver free dental vision and medical services to underserved and uninsured individuals. It's the story of a British-born Amazonian cowboy turned uh, wildlife TV star who has something of a midlife crisis or an epiphany and realizes that there's probably a little more to life, that he, he could probably do something a little more meaningful and decides to start a organization that runs free pop-up healthcare clinics all across the United States. And he does this by selling everything he, ha he has and take kind of taking a vow of poverty with, with himself um, and devoting his life to this for the next 25 years without taking a salary, without you know, having a home so he sleeps on the office floor. It's really the story of a modern day kind of medical monk. So he's not um, actually a religious guy as such. Um, he just feels that he has this calling and he needs to devote himself to it 100%. So like no family, no children, no house, no car, everything he does is devoted to delivering free care to the people of the United States. Remote Area Medical made its way to Savannah, Georgia in August 2021. The pop-up clinic was open from August 28th through August 29th. A member of a local community group based in Chatham County who previously volunteered at a clinic reached out to RAM to see if they could provide pop-up clinics in the area. The headline statistics, the clinic in Savannah, uh, they saw 176 patients across two days. And it actually took nearly 200 volunteers all together to set this clinic, uh, to set this clinic up. Angel said this region is the beating heart of RAM. Georgia, Kentucky, Virginia, Tennessee, East Tennessee in particular. Um, so this, these, are these are remote area medicals people, you know, this is, these are Stan's people. And I, I think it's great that um, it's getting the word out across the community and everybody can see like the difficulties that, that people are under. Stan somehow or other inspired us to give up two weekends a month. Honey, you're a giver and I, I appreciate that. Scott Savannah is a really prestigious um, film festival. And um, it's, it's great that, you know, our peers are giving us a little bit of um, recognition and seeing the importance of Stan's story and what Stan's done. Stan spent the first part of his life only working with animals. And he didn't seem to care very much for the human race. And there's a lot of reasons why you wouldn't want to. A lot of times people are mean and callous. I want to personally say thank you. Como seres humanos. For seeing us as human beings. You know, no matter what they do, they deserve to be pain free. I don't get into the political issues of, uh, of either party. I know people on both sides of the aisle, so to speak, that there's 50 million people out there that are not getting the care that they need. They simply can't afford it and we need to do something about it. Reporting in Savannah, Kaylin Jackson, WSAV Now.